and then we'll have a little fun, and we can keep it for paying bills, and for trips to see Mike and Glory and little Joey, and then it'll be for presents for little Joey, too. Let me see, five dollars a week, 52 weeks in the year, five times 52, five and two, ten, 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 two hundred and sixty dollars a year, that's all. Yeah, well, let me see, how many years would that take me? Well, it'll be between uh, three and four years. But all that time, you don't have to be paying me the one dollar a week that I always <laughs> listen to me, or I'll have to explain it to you all over again. So you don't have to pay me the dollar a week. Admittance, Betancourt is speaking. Ay, nena, me encantaría comer contigo, oh. sí, cuando. Ajá, y las dos muchachas. Dos quieren comer chino y dos quieren comer kosher delicatessen. Kosher delicatessen, why do I have to listen to this? Well, listen, put him on, let me talk to him. Mira, what's wrong with eating Italian? I'm dying oh, for a big geez. pizza with everything on it. You have to talk about food? Would you shut up? <laughs> And cheese and anchovies and sausages and pepperoni. I am so hungry. I hope you've got a spare uniform, because in a minute, I'm going to vomit on you. Mira, me tengo que ir, que estoy admitiendo un gringo loco aquí. Sí. OK, chao. Sí, OK. What's the name of your insurance company? Fiddle tie. Excuse me? Here, it's written down here, fiddle tie, fiddle tie. That's fidelity. <laughs> three steps back, right? One, one, one two, two, three. three. Yeah. yeah. Put the chair, chair there. Okay. Yeah. Head against the wall. Right. I lift up the chair. Yeah. Now hey. straight, straighten up. I can't straighten up. You didn't straighten I up. I know. I can't do it. That's, that's the thing. Yeah, but I straightened up. What'd you do to the chair? I didn't do anything to the chair. You're a liar. What'd you do to the chair? He didn't do anything. The chair, Daddy. Get over here and watch me. Yeah? It's the same chair and the same wall. One, two, three. <laughs> chair. One, two, three. Put the chair there. Yeah. Head against the wall. Pick it up. <laughs> Hurt yourself, Dad. It's a trick chair. It's not a trick chair. <laughs> if it ain't a trick chair, then any other chair in the chair will work. Any chair. All right, I've got another chair. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ta da! Ta da! Hello, Archie. How was your day? Lousy, is it? Lousy. <laughs> The world out there is full of nuts and fruit cakes, and sometimes I think I'm gonna go the same way. Oh, no. Oh, be prepared, Edith. If I gotta ride them subways another two years, you're gonna have to check me into a rubber room. Oh, ain't that funny? I was coming home. Nice I'm talking, Edith. <laughs> I'm coming home tonight, and it's sardine time again. Here's a guy pressed up against me so close, his buttons are making permanent dents in my flesh, see? <laughs> so there we are, we're riding nose to nose, and he starts talking to his daughter. What's the matter with that? She wasn't there. <laughs> then on top of that, the bum behind me had beans for lunch. <laughs> Good job, by the way, he smiled at me. Before, Bunker, I don't want any more trouble from you. Oh, Mr. Kimmy, a minute, huh? Hey, look at his head. So, 
<laughs> what do you mean, so? That's the American flag there. Very nice. How much? <laughs> I don't want to sell it. This means I'm an American. So am I. So were they. Yeah, but I ain't one of them. I was just an innocent standby. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me the police arrest innocent citizens? I never said that. And I thought you said you was an American. I am. Then don't be hiding behind the American flag in order to smear the police. <laughs> Overpaid knucklehead. Okay, everybody, rise and shine. Time to get up. Lazy Mary, will you get up? Will you get up? Will you get up? you good. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> Slap the whole night through. Good morning, good morning to you. Are you waiting for a special invitation? I said breakfast is on the table. I heard you. So did every moose up in Canada. <laughs> Listen, Archie, I'm not going to let you upset me. I'm only here because of Edith. The fact that you happen to be here with her is beyond my control. <laughs> like any other freak of nature. <laughs> now you can either come to the table and eat, or you can lie there and feed off your own fat. sleep, I want to tell you something. That this is the goofiest thing that ever happened underneath my roof. <laughs> and it took you to think it up. Oh, this is the only way this thing is going to work. We don't trust each other. All right, get over there. Get way over. I don't want you touching me. <laughs> Arch, I'm almost off the bed. I might as well be sleeping on the floor. Well, that wouldn't be a bad idea. <laughs> so you had a little delicacy left in you. Stop thrashing around. It's like I was in bed with a trapped animal. I'm not used to sleeping on this side of the bed. Well, when I sleep with Edith, my wife, I sleep on this side of the bed. Well, when I sleep with Gloria, I sleep on that side of the bed. But you are sleeping now with the guy that owns the bed. <laughs> Professor Blake said that my grades were so good that I graduated in the top 10% of my class. Hey, hey, you need to hear that. The boy's grades are tops there. He can walk out of college, that means, and go into any position he wants. He said I could get a fellowship. Take it, take it. What's that, an out-of-town job? <laughs> no, 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 Daddy. Michael's gonna stay on at school here and get his master's degree. <laughs> He's staying on at school? Yup, for another year. You're staying on at school? That means you don't have to leave home after all. Staying at school? Yeah, uh, you see, with a bachelor's degree, it doesn't mean anything anymore. To get anywhere nowadays, you have to have a master's. School? <laughs> Staying on at school. Yeah, Daddy, that's what a fellowship means. Oh, that's what a fellowship means. He's staying on at school. That's a fellowship, huh? Oh, a fellowship, huh? A fellowship. Well, I think I know what I better do. I better go out on Long Island and get myself a fellowship in a funny farm. <laughs> 
crazy Louie living in the past. The Jacks are coming to Jacksonville. Class will and tentacles. <laughs> this is Archie Bunkin, 704 Hazard Street. Speaking to you from the cellar of 704 Hazard Street. <laughs> for my wife, Edith Bunker, to her all my worldly goods, I do and now. <laughs> Including a house, a seven hundred dollars street, <laughs> and everything in it except the following items. To my son-in-law, me had Stevie. <laughs> I leave my original forty-eight star American flag, leaving out Alaska and Hawaii. <laughs> to my dear daughter, Gloria Monka who I forgive for marrying the above. <laughs> I leave my personal living room chair for her to use as a centerpiece in her own someday living room. <laughs> <laughs> to Mrs. Irene Lorenzo, <laughs> who killed me. Catching on. <laughs> they already proved that Jesus was an Ethiopian. Well, wait a minute. Now, you say he's an Ethiopian, a Presbyterian <laughs> says a Presbyterian. <laughs> but whatever he was, he was never black. Well, if God wasn't black, how come he built us so much better than you? <laughs> Are you kidding? Well, look at the way it is, man. Take us out of football, take us out of basketball, take us out of the Olympics, and what do you got? I can't even think about it. It's pathetic. <laughs> well, let me ask you something. How come all the astronauts are white? Because they're picked by lily white Americans like you who only pick other lily white Americans. So what? So nothing. Keep your white astronauts like I already proved to you. We got God, who is black. <laughs> Well, the only answer to that is... 